Welcome to creating a print catalog for using Caliber Part 2. Once you have the books entered into your library, you can then manipulate the data. This screencast shows you how to edit your metadata and utilize the column features of Caliber to help you search and sort the books in your catalog. Editing your metadata is, simple, is as simple as selecting a book and clicking on Edit Metadata Information. You can also double click in a field and start typing. A more powerful feature is the custom column feature. With Caliber 7, users can create their own columns. Go to Preferences, then Interface, using the green and red buttons to add and delete user-created columns. Here I've created red and want, which are yes and no type columns, but you can create as a number of different types, such as integer or long-form text. One of the most important things that you want to remember is the lookup name. You'll use that later on in creating a saved search. Here I've marked all of my wants and my to-be-reads, my haven't-reads, and my reads. Now that I've marked all my books, I can create a buy list. First, I'm going to create a custom search. For all of my user-created columns, I need to use a pound sign followed by the lookup name. And then the want or yes, no, or false. Here I'm going to save my search so I won't have to type this in later. And I type in what I'm going to name my search, then the plus sign. I've created a to be read list by using the blank. As I explained before, there's actually three options. There's blank, yes, and no. To search for blanks, you type the lookup name followed by false. If you wanted to type, or if you wanted to find all the ones marked yes, you type red yes. All of the ones no, red no. But I want the blank ones. The false essentially means that there's no entry at all. So now you have a searchable and sortable list for your wants and to be reads, and you can continue to create as many columns and save searches as you want. But let's say you want to take your buy list with you. You can create a catalog of these entries or your entire library, but let's say you want to take your buy list to the store. Run your to buy list and select all of the books using Command or Control A. Then click on the gray arrow next to convert ebooks and select create a catalog of books in your caliber library. Here you're given four options, CSV, EPUB, MOBI, XML. CSV is short for comma separated values and you can create a Word table or Excel spreadsheet based on CSV and this might be the easiest to take with you. EPUB and MOBI catalogs are little books and have hyperlinks for categories and it's pretty cool but probably not as easy to take with you. Once you've selected which catalog format you're going to use, you also have the options of what fields to include in your output. You probably want your author, ISBN, publisher, and title. This is what your CSV list would look like in Excel. And you can see how easy this is to print out and take with you. The EPUB version looks like a little book. And as you can see, it has hyperlinks that can take you to different parts of your book. And you can read the summary, look at the cover, see the publisher, the published date, and so forth. That's the nuts and bolts of how to create a user-defined column, save searches, and a printable catalog for your purse.